Officials and common sense tell us that a hurricane's power should be feared. And most of us agree. Up and down the East Coast, they either evacuated or battened down the hatches. But if we could capture the power in those winds, how much would we have? It sounds almost impossible to comprehend, but researchers took a shot. They imagined an average hurricane, 120 miles wide with 90 mile per hour winds. They figured out that in just one day, the amount of wind energy released is equal to half the entire planet's electricity supply. That's like the energy from almost 40,000 space shuttles or the energy from burning the coal from thousands of freight trains. And if that day's worth of wicked weather seems like a tall order, there's a storm that's been raging for hundreds of years, and it's big enough to swallow up three Earths. Yes, Jupiter's great red spot is quite a storm. Kind of makes you long for a sunny day on Venus. 40 years ago, the government came up with a plan to try and control hurricanes. They called it Project Storm Fury, and they tried to tame the beast. Planes dropped silver iodide, which creates clouds, near the eyes of four hurricanes. And in some of the cases, the storms weakened. But upon further study, it turns out that the hurricanes would have weakened anyway, with or without the experiment. In the end, the best thing we can do is get out of the way.